So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be upgrading the headlight harness for my Jeep. Now this is the harness I'm going to be using. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to make your stock headlights look bright or be brighter because the old wiring isn't exactly up to par for that. Apparently it's too thin and after a while it will burn out your headlight switch is what it did to mine, which is if you've seen that last video. But yeah, I'm going to show you how I do it. And as far as I know, you got to take the grill off, you got to take these bezels out, and you got to undo the battery. It, basically, the new headlight harness, it will cause the lights to run off the battery, in which they will be a lot brighter, supposedly. But we will see. And at the end, I'll show you a comparison picture. So yeah, let's get started. I'm first. I'm gonna take the battery terminal off because you don't want to be messing with any electricity while this is all together. So let me get that done. All right. Now that the battery is disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and take this bezel off, this grill, and that bezel off, and then we will take out the headlights. Also, I forgot to mention that I will have this kit linked in the description of the video for you, and let if you want to do this yourself. It's very straightforward. It's supposed to be plug and play, as you can see. There's the new plugs. And yeah, so I'm going to get all of this off and I will get back to you. Also, if you want to get this bezel off, there's a screw here. And, well, first you're going to take this marker light off, which there's two screws right here. There will be some more screws inside to take the rest of this bezel out. Then you take that out and I think you should be able to take this whole thing off then. This is my first time doing it, so we'll see. Alright, so now I have everything off. Now we just gotta get to the headlights. So, let me see. It looks like it's just held in by these two screws. If you can see them, these. And those two. So I'm gonna try and take that out. Because this third screw here is just your adjustment screw. You got another one over here as well. So I'm going to take these both out, and then we'll, we will figure it out from there. So I got both headlights out now. You can see the harness plugs here. They're actually not melted like I thought they would be. But I got both headlights here. As you can see, it's the full housing. There's no bulb. It plugs directly into these. And eventually, I'm going to get the K-suspension uh, housing assembly that comes with regular glass housings that look like the original stock ones but they come with a hundred watt bulb that you can replace instead of replacing this whole thing whenever one of these goes out so now what I might do actually or whenever before I put the new or the lights back in I'm actually gonna clean these because this is all dirty and they're probably all foggy and all that but yeah the next thing we're gonna do is actually I need to move this battery up a little bit so I can get some space. But what we're going to do is we're going to fish that from here and we're going to put the new plug out here and we're going to plug this one into the harness. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. So let me get that set up and see. Now what I've done is I've dragged the driver's side plug all the way through here first because I'm going to insert it back here and then run, run it along the grill and then plug it up around the back of that bucket and I only did this that way I had enough slack because there really ain't enough room to get your hand back there so I'm gonna run this around here and then zip tie it and then we'll get we will get to this side first and as you can see I'm running it behind the passenger side bucket and in between the radiator so I can reach my hand back there just coax it along here if I can get my hands on it. Let's see there we go. So here it here it is. Yeah push it some more through here. And there we go. Now it's through there. I'm going to just run it. Oh shit. Just run it through and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push it back here and get it back here. So, yeah, well, I'm having problems with my hand down there to fish it through here. So what I'm going to do is just take off the air box because I will open all of this 
just for a measly five second thing. So yeah, fun. So now that the air box is out, I can now grab this, bring it all the way through, and just put it in here. Now I can actually, you know what? I could probably, yeah, there we go. All right, I found a place. Just kind of pull this through. There we go. Now for this. Uh, old plug, we can just push it away. We're not going to use it again. And now we can get on to the fun part, actually plugging these in. So, uh, what we do with this plug on the passenger side is we're going to plug it into this one. That way power can be taken from this and put into this. And that will make everything work, as far as I know. And then we are going to place our grounds, which are these black wires and what I'm going to do is I'm going to there's a bolt here and one right here and that's where my grounds are going to be since they're right above the headlight so I'm going to put them there and then I'm going to hook the positive battery cape or wire up to the positive terminal where this nut is so yeah let's get to that and I will get back to you whenever the headlights are plugged in I lied about that. I'm actually just going to show you every step that I did. So that's plugged in. I don't know if, how well you can see it because it's bright out here. But we're going to just push that away back here. And now this is our new headlight uh, plug. So yeah, there's that. Now on to the next thing. All right, so I got the grounds done for this side and this side. Now all I have to do is put this. To that battery terminal so yeah all right so i got it hooked up now now i'm going to tap it to the battery see if we got any fire it don't look like it <coughs> so yeah nice so i'm going to go ahead and put the headlights back in and we will test them all right so i got both headlights back in let's go see if they'll turn on Marker lights are on. Yep, both headlights are working. So that's good. Let me go try the brights real quick. Let's see. Yep, still working. Cool. So now all I gotta do is put everything back together, and then I will get to the uh, the night comparisons. So yeah. We will see how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together, air box, grill, and all that. I'm still going to take those bottom pieces off and clean them while I got the chance. So, yeah.